Welcome back to the channel, Ninjas F Dash here with F Dash TV. And this is Best Farms of the Week for the week of October 9th, 2023. So this week's tournament is going to turn a lot of people off because Razar is a terrible, terrible character. And it's going to affect the enthusiasm that you have and the drive you have for, for grinding this, this tournament here. But do remember that while Razar sucks, also remember that you do need those gold shards, you do need those platinum shards, right? Don't forget about the green backs that you get as well as the versus coins. And most importantly, do not forget about the mutagen that you get. Remember, your score is a one-to-one -one ratio with the mutagen that you get at the end of the tournament. So grind accordingly. And yes, I, I know the character is subpar. I get it. But don't forget that the character is essentially the cherry on top of the tournament and that you get a bunch of other goodies in uh, doing this tournament. So don't neglect it too much. All right. So let's move on to challenges. All right, so these are your challenges for the week. There's quite a number of them that begin in a couple days. I do want you guys to note that this is a week where you can farm a ton of Tiger Claw. So if for whatever reason you were really hoping to farm some Tiger Claw, you definitely can. You're also going to have opportunities to farm the LARP Turtles, Leatherhead, the Vision Quest Turtles, Obviously, some Super Shredder and some Nick Shredder is going to be uh, all over the place as well. And you're even going to get a couple little spots here to farm the Nick Turtles, such as Nick Mikey and Nick Wrath. So a lot of different places for you to spend your cheese. So hopefully you have a pretty decent amount of cheese like I do, and you can uh, spread it accordingly. If you don't, then you're going to want to focus on a couple different places. In terms of City at War, A Light in the Dark, let's look at it this way. The first DNA that you can grab here is for Baxter Fly, who can come in use during the Gauntlet, as we talked about in an earlier video. So if you need another healer for the Gauntlet, here's your chance to farm some Baxter Fly. Fish Face, I personally like him, but I'm not going to tell you to farm him, because it's probably not worth it. Hoon, a lot of people like Hoon. So if you're one of those people, go ahead and farm him. Obviously, do not farm stage 4 for Razar. Do not farm stage 5 for Bebop. Simply because, uh, despite him being a decent, uh, hard-hitting Swift, right? Uh, of which there really aren't a lot, right? But So your, your choices for a 5th Swift, kind of difficult to say, are either Bebop or Mondo. And I think most people would rather do Mondo. If you would rather do Nick Bebop, then here's your chance to farm him. Uh, Rocksteady, I do wish Rocksteady was better, so I would skip him as well. Now, stages 7 and 8, you can get in stage 7 Tiger Claws, one of your first chances to get him. He's also in stage 8 as well. But the main draw of stage 8, of course, is going to be Nick Shredder. So if you are slacking on your achievements, here's another place where you can farm some Nick Shredder. Then we also have long live long and LARP. Always say that incorrectly. Uh, so for that one, I would I would not farm stage one. Definitely farm stage two for some pizza face DNA. Uh, you don't have to farm stage three. Stage four I will leave up to you. Uh, LARP Leo is he's a fine tank, you know. So up to you if you want to do that. Definitely go hard on stage five. You want that LARP Wrath DNA. He's definitely the uh, up there in terms of the best LARP characters. So you can don't have to farm stage 6, although Nick, uh, not Nick, but LARP Mikey does have a decent kit if you did want to farm him. But you're going to want to absolutely farm stage 7 for LARP Donnie. So that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of DNA that you can get here, but if you don't have the cheesicles for it, Go hard on stage 5 and stage 7. And then if you can get to stage 8, you can get some Leatherhead DNA as well. So that's Live Long and LARP. Super Shredder. This is a relatively difficult challenge. You do have a pretty decent amount of Nick. Not Nick, but... Um, well, the Nick Turtles are there. But Ninja Turtle characters that you can use in general. Tiger Claw is going to be there as well. As well as Nick 
Shredder, and of course Super Shredder. You, you can ignore Rocksteady there. Of course, you got your Platinum Gear. For this Platinum Gear, you're going to be using the Goons to take on the Allies. Uh, you may find it difficult to form a good team here. I mean, you do have Pizza Face, you do have Snake Weed, uh, uh, Lopex, you have Shark Boy, Steranko's there. But I don't know at what stages you have them, so this may or may not be difficult for you. But if you can do it, obviously do it. Graphic Violence. Keep in mind, if you don't destroy the giant Mauser at the end of this, uh, as long as I'm thinking about the right challenge. I could be wrong. But if there is a giant Mauser at the end of this, remember that it will crash if you don't destroy him before his AoE goes off. So do try to do that. Uh, decent amount of Ninja Turtles to use in this challenge as well. So for this one particularly, you're going to want to farm Nick, Wrath, and Nick Mikey. And the rest of them don't really matter, to be completely honest with you. And then the last challenge for this week is going to be Forces of Nature. This is where you're going to get your hands on that sweet Vision Quest DNA for Vision Quest Wrath uh, and Vision Quest Leo specifically. You also have another chance for Tiger Claw and for Nick Shredder. So, again, a lot of different challenges, a lot of different places to use your Cheesicles. If you have a lot, then you have a lot of different uh, potential farms. If you don't, then focus on the, the the really, really good characters like LARP Raph, LARP Donnie, Vision Quest, Leo, Vision Quest, Raph, things like that. Maybe uh, Nick, Mikey, and Nick Raph as well. And again, a ton, ton of different places you can farm for Tiger Claw. So good times. And again, yes, the, the, the tournament sucks. I get it. But remember, good DNA, Good shards and good uh, greenbacks are also available. All right, so that's going to do it for this week. Hopefully you have everything you need to have a successful week. Uh, keep it locked here for further TMNT videos. In fact, there's one coming tomorrow that I'm very excited about. Hopefully you will enjoy it. My name is F-Dash. This has been F-Dash TV. This particular game is Ninja Turtles Legends. Take it easy, and we'll check you out next time.